up on Sevier, in the clay shop there on the uh, north uh, western. Mm. But in 36, I think. Uh, the clay I get from the foundry, they kind of know what they like to work with and so forth. So I'm spying from them that I need, only when I need it, you know. That is a much better. Uh, the the other the other Indian in there with the, the knife. Mm -hmm. he, that is that. That's really dark compared to this. this right. Like yeah. This is a softer clay. Almost looks like a ceramic. Yeah. Texture, of course, but ceramic dry. Right. Mm -hmm. But this won't dry. When I first started, I didn't. I didn't have any tools. I don't know if I had too much if I had any when I did the Guardian. What inspired you to do the Guardian? It, it, well, it was competition. I mean, I understood they had a, they had auditions. There was submissions for. It. They did. They 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 said. Uh, well, we decided we wanted a sculpture on top of Capitol, and, and the and the committee that was dealing with it, the see the arts committee, decided they wanted an Indian male, and that was, quote, generic, of course, that threw me a little bit, because <laughs> I'm so uh, tribe-specific. Yeah, how do you do homework for a generic Indian? Well, <laughs> it is philosophy. Uh, I decided to uh, catch a point in time in history when uh, there were no specific tribes, just where they would be, but then prior to the European. Mm -hmm. And so all of this regalia and, and, and these and, uh, and everything about it is would have would have been available uh, to any group of uh, tribal people, right? And they would have been available to to the early tribes in in Europe, you know. How did you come about to be the one, sir, to uh, actually uh, do the sculpture for the Capitol? Well, there were uh, there were uh, competition was open. There were some 26 Oklahomans who did it, and, and I checked with the uh, first of all, I asked for legal opinion from the Attorney General's office to see if I could even do it. And once I got that opinion, it basically says since it was being funded uh, through private sources that I could. Right. And so, I, I mean, I went ahead and submitted my portfolio. And six of us were selected and given 30 days to uh, to come up with a design. And a uh, maquette, as it's called. And uh, uh, I was one of the six. Well, <laughs> the problem for me was that given that that 30 day notice, expectation date, or whatever. <laughs> the, uh, I was on my way to Europe. Oh, wow. And I was going to Europe and I had some business to take care of in uh, uh, Belgium for the state and had some other stuff to do. And then so from, from there, I'm, I flew to Taiwan where we had a delegation of um, business people, including Mayor Fowler, uh, there. And then we went to uh, Japan on the business, uh, state business. Well, by the time I got back, I've got two weeks. You uh, pulled it off in two weeks? Well, yeah, and I didn't have any idea, but you know, during the time that I was out there, I was studying. I, I saw the artworks of, the great artworks of, of artists throughout the world. I paid for half the trip myself, because I was doing some personal things in, in France and then and so and, and, and seeing the sculpture in and around the Louvre and other places mm -hmm. I got a sense of what a monumental sculpture ought to look like right. and already had the experience of being in, in St. Michelangelo's work uh, one that impressed me didn't necessarily from there but I think I'm still working on a sculpture related to it is one by um, Rodin that I saw in in uh, Japan of all places see it, and I was impressed with that so it, while I was gone I was studying the, the impact of, of what a uh, monumental sculpture ought to be like I stood this test of time 
And so I had that going for me. But I sure didn't have time going for me. <laughs> and uh, and then I was driving, thinking, oh, my God, maybe I can't do it, you know. I prepared in my mind and think I can't, couldn't, didn't have time to do it. But I was driving, and, it's, and it happens many times. It's, I'm driving along, and an idea just hits me. I'm not, I mean, it's not like I'm looking or... But I, the composition of the of the garden just appeared, so I'm driving and I pulled a piece of envelope in about five seconds. My pen, I, I sketched it, just real, so I don't lose it. Right. Uh, after I complete sculpture, this little cabin, and I found it in stuff, you know, the envelope, and I gave it to my secretary. And she had it framed up. Looks really nice. So I really remember reading that. that or, or no, one of my. Uh, I think it was Stu Oprah that was the one that told well, me about Stu that. Well, Stu told me that the other day that he had that. And I thought, oh, well, you do? I said, well, yeah. In fact, I'm going to go. She's now at a, at a uh, retirement center. So I'm going to go see her probably this, this week. She's like a mother to me. <laughs> She's really special. And see how easy that soft yeah. that is? So if you